Okay, so here's the uh, more of the solutions to our review packet. Uh, checking out A, which of the graph maps to the rule? Okay, um, so this is a translation. This is the, you know, signifies a translation. Um, but, so we're going to go through, it looks like it could be graph 2, could be graph 3. Uh, graphs 1 and 4 look like they're rotations. So, well, let's just count here. So let's, these are going by 2s, it looks like. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, that's y plus 10, so that's not going to work. Um, these are also going by 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Interesting. What am I missing? Um, okay. Well, none of them. So, I gotta, I guess I gotta say for this, either it's a mistake or uh, there's none. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to do. So, we'll have to say there is no answer to that one. Uh, no right answer. It's not one of these four. Is there one I'm missing? Okay. So, between those four, no, no. Great. Uh, which graph y equals negative x plus 4? Negative x plus 4. All right, so q has to map to c. I was wrong about this one being a rotation. Because if q maps to c, p maps to b. Okay, the orientation switched. So check this out. If we go triangle ABC, I'm um, sorry, let's go with the order they're doing. Triangle QRP and triangle CAB. So start at C, go to A, and then B. That one's got a counterclockwise direction, right? And if we go Q to R to P, that is a clockwise. So that is a rotation. All right, so orientation didn't get preserved. This It's got to be this one because none of the other ones, well, let's check because uh, the last time there was no answer to number or part A, so I shouldn't just jump to conclusions. Um, it is suggesting it's negative X plus 4. That looks pretty solid. Um, use your straight edge. Okay, if that's our mirror, um, I'm liking this. Uh, Q to C has a slope of 1, and then this has a slope of negative 1. That tells me it's perpendicular. A to R, same thing. We've got the right. Okay, so we've got the slope of negative uh, or positive 1 for all these. So it's all perpendicular. Whoops. We're all perpendicular, and it looks like they're the same distance away. Yep. All right, so I like it. It is uh, graph 4. How do you know that this is the line of reflection for part B? Okay. Well, I started with orientation. Is not preserved. So, whoops, preserved. Uh, the rest are. Okay. And um, let's see. Q to C has a slope of 1 where um, y equals negative x plus 4 has m equal to negative 1 over 1. So that's perpendicular. Which is important in a, we need in a line reflection. And... I wish there was a little more room to explain here. Okay, let's uh, create some more room. Uh, and, so to continue, okay, and uh, Q to the mirror is same distance as uh, C to mirror. Okay, so I'm fully explaining what we need there, best I can do. If graph 4 ma maps triangle CAB to the other triangle, what? Oh, okay. All right, we can try it a different way. 
we're trying to hypothetically. Great. Okay, hypothetically, if this is a little bit tricky. Uh, hypothetically, if C was mapped to a reflection in the point two two, which point would C map to? So let's just look at C. All right, C is at the point four eight right now. And if we were to map through 2, 2, all right, it would go, it would happen to be, let's see, 1 and, well, actually, that's a 2 and a 6. They're going by 2. So left 2 down 6. Let's go left 2 down 6 again. Okay, so it would map to P. C would map uh, to P. Graph 1 rotates triangle RPQ about point P 180 degrees to create, oh, okay, okay, I get, I get it now. So here's point P. If we were to map uh, this triangle 180 degrees around this point, Q would go up, this is a 4, right? Q to P has to go four spaces, so go another four. That's Q prime. R would have to move two and or four in this direction, so it would. This is where R prime would land, and P stays stationary because it's the center of rotation. Okay, um, so let's just list that. It's better to kind of write those down. Okay, so let's see. R prime is going to be 2, negative 2. P prime stayed the same at negative 2, negative 2. And uh, Q prime moved up to uh, negative 2, 2. Okay. Describe the transformation now that would finish it off. Okay. So we'd have to translate exactly what? So let's get R prime to B, maybe. Let's get R prime to B. It's going to be 2, 4, 6. So 6 this way. 2, 4, 6 that way. So then we'd have to translate right 6 up 6. Okay. Translate right 6 up 6 uh, to map. Triangle R prime P prime Q prime to triangle A B uh, B A C. Okay. All right. Translate. All right. Good enough. That's a full description. Uh, if you want that six six or that, or you could write it this way. All right. Good enough. Next, let's go to 17. What is the image of A after reflection? So estimate where y equals x is perpendicular in the same distance away. You're looking at B. Now, notice I showed some work. Um, you know, that kind of helps if this is an open response question. You're likely to get partial credit if something were to go wrong, or it might be required, you know? Um, so just make sure you show as much as you can. What's the image of C after a reflection of the y line y equals negative x? Here's the line y equals negative x. Okay. Again, move perpendicular. And the same distance away looks like B again. Okay. What's the image of P after a reflection in the what y-axis? All right. That should be easy. That's D. No doubt about that one. What's the image of C after reflection of the origin? Be careful. That's when you have to go uh, straight through the point, make the origin the midpoint of C to A. So those are the same. Uh, looks like A. All right, that one wasn't too bad. Identify the transformation. Um, hopefully they're going to be... Uh, oh, okay. So let's assume they want A, B, C, D to map to... Okay, looks like if A goes to there, it could have been a point reflection or 180-degree rotation. Um, 
Yep, centered right there at one, two, three, zero, three. Let's see if there's something. It's not a translation because points move different amounts. It's not a rotation about the origin. It's not a reflection in the y-axis. That one works. 180 degrees around that new point. Okay. This transformation, it looks like the orientation was switched, right? ABC is going clockwise. That's counterclockwise. Good. So get rid of all these. You know, because none of those will switch orientation. Only a reflection would in a line. And it looks good here. So that's what we want. Identify the transformation. Okay, so A prime ended up over here. It looks like it could be, there's two things. It could be a point reflection through M, or it could be a 180 degree rotation around point M. Um, it's not a translation for sure. It's not a line reflection because the orientation didn't switch. Definitely not a translation. So it must be 180 degree rotation around M. All right, that did not switch orientation. Um, all the points appear to move the same amount. One, two, three, four, five, six. They all appear to move down six. It's got to be a translation. If they all move the same amount, it's got to be a translation. And I, oh, I did it wrong. I'm sorry. That's the image. Okay, so they're all up six. My fault. So it's all up six. Okay. Uh, luckily, the down six wasn't a choice because I probably would have got tricked by that. But translate right or left zero. So when you do a translation, it goes the right or left move, which is X. Up or down move, which is why. Okay, construct. I'm going to go over, I'm going to do this on uh, the next video, and I'm going to have to do this on Geometry Sketchpad and just talk you through it. All right, thank you.